Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Mart. I am Jason in Pocahontas, Arkansas, and I am on Cause Street, which is very residential. It's kind of in the woods, but not really. But I am standing in front of the birthplace of rockabilly musician Billy Lee Riley. There's a historical marker here, and I'll go ahead and tell you all about it. And also later in this episode, we'll be visiting his gravesite in Newport, Arkansas. So here we go. All right, so here's the marker. The birthplace of Billy Lee Riley. Rock and roll pioneer Billy Lee Riley was born to Amos and Helen Riley on October 5th, 1933 in a white frame house located on this site. Riley and his band, the Little Green Men, helped originate the unique sound of Sun Records that became a distinctly American musical heritage. His records, Flying Saucers Rock and Roll and Red Hot, are early rock and roll classics. This marker is dedicated to the memory of one of Randolph County's favorite sons. And it's a little picture of him. Can't really get all that stuff off but and this is to commemorate highway 67 northeast arkansas portion that is as a rock and roll highway so some of his other songs included trouble bound also rock with me baby which were both recorded on sun records in 1956 also in 1957 there was i want you baby with backing piano by jerry lee lewis also known as the killer but the song red hot that is mentioned here on the marker was showing promise as a hit record, but Sam Phillips, the man behind Sun Records, that is, he stopped promoting it so he can promote Jerry Lee Lewis' song, Great Balls of Fire. Well, Riley felt that his chances of chart success were compromised when Phillips diverted resources to Lewis's career. But, despite of all that, he had made other recordings for Sun Records, and unfortunately they did not have a lot of sales likewise, and... Phillips, again, did not promote them. But that goes for a lot of other um, recording artists that record at Sun Records, such as Sonny Burgess, Hayden Thompson, Ray Harris, and Warren Smith. But he was considered good-looking, and he had wild stage moves, and um, his time with the Little Green Men was kind of brief. But in later years, he would work as a session, session musician with Dean Martin, the Beach Boys, Herb Alpert, and Sammy Davis Jr., among many others. And he would move to Los Angeles, but in the early 1970s, he would quit music to return to Arkansas and start his own construction business. But his songs gave him a little bit of a comeback, like Red Hot was performed and covered by Robert Gordon and Link Ray. And just recently, I think, within the last two years, it was covered by Australian rock and roller Jimmy Barnes, I know he's not much of a hit here in America, but in Australia, I know he's a big deal. But if you do hear Jimmy Barnes' version as well as Billy, Billy Lee Riley's version, both of them are really great. He is a member of the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, and he also helped launch the Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. So yes, he definitely knew that he was a big deal among being one of the architects of rock and roll. And one more thing about that song, Red Hot, it was also selected as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's one of um, the song, one of 500 songs that helped shape rock and roll. So yes, it's definitely a big deal. So, but unfortunately, Billy Lee Riley himself is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Maybe that'll change someday, but who knows? All right, so now we are going to go miles and miles down to Newport, Arkansas, where he is buried. Come with me. Now I am in Walnut Grove Cemetery in Newport, Arkansas, which is several miles from where I was in Pocahontas. And I am at the site of the final resting place of Billy Lee Riley, the rockabilly pioneer. And so he passed away of colon cancer in 2009, but two months before his death, actually less than that, that was when he gave his final performance at the New Daisy Theater on Beale Street in Memphis, where he took part of Pete Fest 2009, honoring the historian Pete Daniel, who was actually friends with Riley while helping launch the Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. But Riley was supported by a walker, but nonetheless, he belted out all of his old hits, including that song Red Hot. And so this is the final, again, the final resting place for Billy Lee. 
and then his wife Joyce will be buried next to him. Married April 26, 1975. And he had also served in the U.S. Army in the Korean War. So I really hope this guy gets into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame pretty soon. I mean, it doesn't even have to be in the performer category. Hopefully, like in the early influence or something category, musical excellence, something. Because this guy left behind a great legacy and it's still going strong today, even though rock is kind of, and rockability, rockability is not really a thing anymore, but it would definitely help that this guy definitely gets the recognition he is long deserved, especially, you know, being... <laughs> Um, having the killer or Jerry Lee Lewis outdo him in the early days, but he didn't get the attention, the same kind of attention that his label mates got. You know, like Elvis Presley, John, Johnny Cash, and as many others. So I am Jason.